Hi, Steve Stein here again. I'm going to show you a really cool pattern that you can utilize to impress people with. Uh, fairly easy, um, but, but really impressive. Check this out. Okay, what I'm doing is simply a pattern through a G major scale. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm simply playing 8, 7, 5 on the first string with my pinky, my ring, and my first finger. Then I'm repeating that 8, 7, 5 on the next string. And then I'm doing uh, 7, 5, 4 on the third string, which means I'm using my pinky, my middle, and my first. And then I'm doing the same thing again, 7, 5, 4 on the fourth string. And then I'm doing 7, 5, 3 on the fifth string. And for that, I'm using my pinky, my middle, and my first finger. And then I'm also doing the same thing on the sixth string. So what's kind of cool about this is you have three shapes. You have 8, 7, 5 twice. You have 7, 5, 4 twice. Then you have 7, 5, 3 twice. Okay? Now, what makes this really cool is that it takes longer to get through the pattern. Okay, so when you need something that's really cool and it takes a little bit of time, you know, like a lot of times, a lot of the players that I listen to, they'll be doing something really melodic and then they'll end with a, you know, they'll do something really cool like that. That's where this kind of thing really comes in. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to do a pattern of doing 8, 7, 5, just once like that. So the picking pattern I'm using is down, up, down, up, down, up. So if you think about it again in the bigger picture, whenever I'm playing something that's faster, I'm simply moving my pick back and forth. I'm just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay? So when I'm changing strings, again, one thing that happens with a lot of people is every time they change a string, they feel compelled to always have to start with a downstroke. And that's not necessarily true. Like right now what we're doing is we're playing three notes on each string. So you're gonna go down, up, down, and then you have to go up, down, up to keep it nice and constant. Otherwise, you'd have to go down, up, down, down, up, down. And you'd have to shift your pattern every time. Now, at a slower speed, that's going to feel perfectly fine. But at a faster speed, it's really not going to function well for you. So what you want to do is you want to get used to going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the first thing you do to develop this pattern is just practice going. And of course, because we're going backwards through the scale or downward through the scale, you have to make sure you get your fingers out of the way. So when I start, I start with all three fingers down. I don't start with one finger and then try and switch because it would take too long. I'm starting with all three fingers on the fretboard. And then when I go to the second string here with that up strum, okay, these guys are still in transition. They're trying to get over there as quickly as possible. Okay? So the hardest part about going this direction on the fretboard is you got to get everybody out of the way. A lot of times it's easier to go that way because you're adding fingers. Right now what you're doing is subtracting fingers. You're taking them off. So the first thing you do is you just start developing that first part of the pattern. Now the cool thing about that is if you can get it developed, you can use that as a pattern as well, which is really cool. So here's where the repetition comes in. We play, now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the second string, and we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, and connect to the third string. So I'm going eight, seven, five, seven, five, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm repeating the second string, although what I'm really doing is just playing the pattern itself twice. I'm going. And because of that doubling, it's going to take me longer to get through all six strings, which is going to make the pattern longer. So as you start practicing these again, start with the first grouping of two strings. And start getting comfortable with the picking pattern that that is. Then start adding on that down strum to start the next pattern, or sequence of notes, if you want to think about it that way. Then, then we got to double that.
Okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to start on the third string and go from third string to fourth string. So we double the third string. So we have... See, so all that's happening is you're doubling every string except for the first string. Okay? Now for some people it's easier to think about it as doubling the strings. For some people it's easier to think about it as the first part of the two string pattern. Or... For me, it's way easier to think about it as the two-string pattern. I have six notes, then I have six notes, then I have six notes, then I start on the fourth string, I have six notes. I gotta go to the three here, though. And then I have six notes. Now, I don't double the sixth string either because I'm at the end of my pattern at that point. So the whole thing, nice and slow, sounds like this. So what you want to do is you just want to take two different practice approaches to this pattern. The first thing you do is what we just talked about. You just sit with the same thing. And try and develop that. The second thing that you do is you start trying to move through the entire pattern nice and slow. Getting comfortable on how it feels going through all six strings. Okay? So it's pretty cool and it's very effective when you're playing. 